Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is Robert Yuri, and this is another episode of What? What am I? What am I singing now? What's up with that? <laughs> Anyways, hey, it's Wednesday. We're halfway through the work week, right? Um. Oh, hey, cool. I didn't swear yet. That's awesome. Um, because. <laughs> I make myself laugh, and that's all that matters. I always say that, I know. But, uh, yeah, I make this disclaimer. Um, if you get offended by the F word, um, if you don't like swearing, and they take a pause. <laughs> all right. Don't watch my fucking shit, right? Okay. It's kind of heartfelt one here, and a little pissed off one, so I'm going to get this right out of the fucking way, okay? Oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, pepperoni pizza. Sorry. Irish guy, but yes. Irish. Us Irish. Oh, my God. I am so sorry. We eat pizza, too. Not just you Italian guys and gals, okay? I got a lot of Italian gals and uh, uh, friends that are watching this. Um, all right. It's real touchy. You ready? See, in my hometown, I live in Cahoes right now, okay? But my hometown of Troy... Which is Lansingburg, too. There's Troy and there's Lansingburg. It's all Troy. You know, we like to call it Troy. But anyways, I posted a thing today on my Facebook. Uh, uh, those, you know, I have friends from around the world in the country, which is cool, and I love every one of you, man. We had this, uh, I'm trying to make this super quick, man. I'm trying to get, not to get pissed off, but I, I'm pissed, you know. We had this shooting, okay. Uh, it all started out with this, this fucking scumbag he tried carjacking somebody at fucking gunpoint, right? Trying to steal their fucking car? Well, it didn't happen, okay? So, the asshole walks up the street, and the police matches, uh, you know, hey, that looks like the guy. So they pull over, and, uh, you know, they confront this motherfucker, and this fucking cocksucker pulls out a fucking gun and shoots the fucking cops, man. You know? Two cops, he shoots them. And, uh, thank God the police are okay, you know? And, uh, the great news is, you ready for this one? This motherfucker's dead. They shot him to fucking death. And I'm sorry. See this? I am very religious, and I love God, I love Jesus, you know, but I'll tell you, man, that cocksucker deserved it. Fuck him. Fuck him, okay? What if he, what if he killed the person in the car, you know, and took their car? Or what if he didn't get that car and he walked down the street? Guess what? You know what he was going to do? He was going to do it to somebody else, man. He's a fucking piece of shit. Right? Well, anyways, um, uh, what I've known is, too, uh, where this piece of shit fucking died, okay, where he met his demise, where he met his fucking maker, and, uh, and like I said, the, the two officers are gonna be okay. That's the... Thank you. Thank you! You know? That's awesome, man. And I respect, I respect everything you guys do for us. Um... But yeah, where this asshole met his demise, he went to hell, because he's a piece of shit. Uh, I guess people from Albany went over to my town, you know, my hometown, and they, like, put one of them, like, uh, you know, like, candles and all that shit, everything where he, where he, uh, died. Anyways, where he got killed was, was at a very famous pizza shop in Troy, and I am not gonna say the name of it, okay? Everybody knows where it is. But anyways... I guess the pizza place had all that shit fucking removed. And you know what? I don't blame them. I'd have a fucking removed too. Get that fucking shit out of here. You know? <sighs> I have people watch this stuff from all over the United States and all over the world, and I love every one of you, you know? Now, you see, what we do around here, and you guys probably do it in your hometown too, you know? Like if somebody, God forbid, man, like if somebody gets run over, or somebody gets hit by a car, or oh, they have a heart attack, and they... Man, they, they drop dead right there, and it's horrible to say say it like that. But, you know, they, you know, you put like a little, you know, you put candles and stuff and flowers, you know, to, remi to remind, you know, of, of they died and where and all that stuff. You know, in a center of respect, you know. But to do it for a scumbag that fucking shoved the gun in someone's fucking face and traumatizes this person for the rest of their fucking lives and try to kill two cops? Fuck that piece of shit. <clears throat> Sorry. Fuck him, okay? And you know what? If that shit was over there right now, I'd go over and I'd kick it all out of the out into the fucking street. Sorry, I, I kicked my computer stand. <laughs> I would, I really would, man. I'm sorry, I would. Fuck him. Fuck that scumbag. Uh, 
I said, man, you know what? I've been in the back of police cars before, too, but you know what? I never tried to fucking hold anybody up at fucking gunpoint, or I never robbed anybody, or I never did any fucking sick, stupid shit like that. I did a lot of stupid shit in my youth, and that's pretty much it, man, you know? If your family member that guy, you know, hey, you know what? I have two brothers. I'm not going to say their names, but you know what? One's a mechanic. God bless him. The other one's an awesome salesman. God bless him. You know what they do? They kick ass, man. They've worked hard their whole lives, and, you know, they're not holding people up at gunpoint. I'm not holding anybody up at gunpoint. So if your family members are this scumbag, I mean, you should be ashamed of them. All right, you know what? Enough of that piece of shit. God bless. Uh... Uh, law enforcement, hey, I have bad boy friends, so don't get offended by me saying that. God bless law enforcement and for, Jesus, man, for doing your job, doing a great job, and uh, I hope the two officers get well soon. All right, that was my little rant. Let's see what we got here. All right, oh, here we go. This is for my friend Paul. I'm not going to say your last name, Paul. He, uh, he made a joke about... Uh, how horrible Seth Meyers is on late night. I gotta tell you, Paul, I completely agree with you. That guy's fucking horrible. He is, man. He puts the un and funny, you know? Therefore, he is unfunny. No, actually, he's un-fucking-funny. That guy's horrible, dude. You know, I mean, I guess he started out in joke writing in SNL. Um, yeah, they should have kept him behind the camera because he was horrible there, too. I mean, when... <laughs> I'm sorry, I laugh all the time, right? I do this all day long, too, just to let you know if you ever hang out with me. Um, <laughs> um, I watch Jimmy Fallon, and when Seth Farland comes on, holy shit, I gotta, like, run around to fucking find a... Excuse me, Seth Myers. <laughs> I gotta run around to find a fucking... Uh, the remote to change a fucking channel. It's like, holy shit. Yeah, he's... Uh, he's bad. He is bad. I, you must know somebody um, big in the uh, entertainment business. Or he signed something with his own blood to somebody with uh, pointy ears and a devil tail. <laughs> that's how I look at it. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, that's another thing. Uh, I have a big job interview tomorrow. Yes. And I want to, I, I, I personally want to, uh, I'm a little nervous, man. I'm excited. I'm nervous all at the same time. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I've been up since 4:30. Um, I want to thank every one of you uh, guys and gals. Everybody's been, you know. I, I said a little thing. I, I usually don't ask for things, but I said a little thing on my Facebook. I said, "Hey, you know, I got a big job interview tomorrow. Could you please say a prayer for me?" You know, you guys, you guys and gals are awesome, man. You guys, you're messaging me, and you, you're, you're liking the thing, and you're telling me all kinds of stuff, and Thank you very, very much. And I swear to God, your your thoughts and your prayers mean the world to me. I, I really, this is a really cool job. <clears throat> and I really hope I get it. And I want to thank you all very, very much, man. That means a lot to me. And I'm not kissing up. This is true. I love you guys, man. I guess I am kissing up. You guys are awesome. <laughs> um, how else, what else are we going to talk about here? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Let's see. What was my first comedy show and where? Wow, this kind of goes. This is kind of crazy. All right. Well, let's see. Are you ready for this one? I don't know if I've ever said this before or not. This is, oh, this is a long rant. I'm sorry. My very first paid comedy gig. My very first paid comedy gig was before my first very open mic. That's kind of ass backwards, isn't it? Maybe that's why I'm so fucking deluded and nuts. <laughs> But my very first paid comedy gig, my father got me. Love you, Dad. God rest his soul. And it was great, man. It was, uh, I'll never forget, my dad, I used to hang out at the bar with my dad, you know. And my dad told me, uh, hey, I got your comedy gig. And it pays. You know, I didn't even really, I didn't even, I have never really even performed comedy yet, okay. I'm like, wow, that's cool. You know, except for like around the house and telling jokes and all that shit, you know. And I'm like, what is it? He goes, oh, it's a pig roast for a bunch of bikers. <laughs> Nothing against you bikers. I fucking love you motherfuckers. And I'm not going to say the biker group name. But yeah, he's like, it's a pig roast. 
for a bunch of bikers, you know, and it pays, and, uh, I told him you'd do it. You should have seen my fucking face. I'm like, <sighs> Dad, what is wrong with you? Anyways, I did the gig, right? Uh, actually, I can say his name. John Morris, I love you, brother. I actually opened up for him. This is in Cohoes. This is like 15 fucking years ago, man. 20, 15, 16 years ago now? Wow, I say I've been doing comedy 15. I think it's 16 now. Anyways, I go there, right? I pull up into the park. Lines of fucking bikes, right? Bikers everywhere. I'm like... I'm going to get fucking eaten alive. At the time, 150 pounds, skinny little ass bastard, but I'm funny. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> John Morse goes up, does his shit, rocks the house, you know, it's outside, rocks the fucking place, man. And then the guy goes up, he's like, hey, how do you like the show? And all these biker people, man. Uh, and I, I'm, I don't mean that in a bad way, you know what I'm trying to say. All you biker motherfuckers, they're like, yeah, and he's like, and the guy's like, are you ready for some comedy? And all of a sudden I went, <sighs> I go up on stage, man, I remember I got a cordless microphone, right, and uh, I'm doing my shit, you know, I'm doing my act, some people are laughing, other people are like, bring on the next act, get some music up there, and the steel balls that I had at the time, I said, you know what? I'm like this. I'm like, this ain't working. This ain't fucking working. I got to switch strategies awfully fast right now, okay? So I said, you know what? I said, we're going to switch it up a notch. I said, we're going to move on. We're going to call this getting to know your audience. So, Maniac, this motherfucker right here, Maniac Robert Urie, I take the cordless microphone and I go into a fucking sea of goddamn bikers. These big burly motherfuckers with tattoos and everything. Like, hey, what's going on? What's your name? Remember? Oh, boy. A lot of people started shutting up, right? But anyways, started making jokes, walking around the crowd with the cordless microphone, PA system all over the place. Won the crowd over. Kicked ass. Did great. And it was for a benefit. And, uh... Yeah, I got it for a first my first paying gig. I got two hundred dollars shoved in my fucking pocket, and told and patted on the back by a whole bunch of bikers. And I thought, oh my god, these guys are gonna kill me. And they were the nicest guys and, and gals in the whole entire world. So there you go. Don't judge people if they have a whole bunch of tattoos or anything like that, man, because uh, that's bullshit. Because you know what? I've seen I've seen sinners come out of church. And like I said, I've seen the nicest people full of tattoos. <sighs> well, I guess that's it. Unless you want one more super quick one. My first... Are you ready? This is funny. That's my first paid gig, and I killed, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. My first uh, open mic at a comedy club was at the Comedy Works in Albany. When they were in Glenmont. Remember Glenmont, New York? When they were in the Comedy Works was in Glenmont? Yep. I, I'll never forget this. I went to see my first comedy show uh, at the Comedy Works. I was with my father. God rest your soul, Dad. We went there. I laughed my ass off. I was so. It was my first. I ever went to a live comedy show. Right. That's that's what really got me into it. And uh, yeah, it was like uh, this is amazing, you know. And like I said, this is after the paid gig. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta, I got I just gotta do this for a living. So I go home and for like a month straight. I'm telling my wife, well, my ex-wife now, <laughs> that's probably why she's my ex, because she probably heard, she probably heard this four times a day, is this funny, is this funny, is this funny, come on, let me know, is this funny, is this funny, <laughs> but anyways, real story, true story, I went there my first time doing open mic at a comedy club, right, and I fucking killed, it was fucking great, it was amazing, and I think that's how I got the comedy bug, man. It was like uh, being on an actual comedy stage. And Tommy Nitchie, Tom Nitchie, great, great guys, father and son that own that club, man. They're in Albany now. You're great, dudes. Um, but yeah, I killed. And uh, comedy's like a drug. And uh, I am addicted. I love it, man, and I love making people laugh, you know? I honestly think, and I'm not comparing my, I'm not comparing comedy to uh, firefighters or EMT 
or police or anything like that. But I will have to say this. Comedy is definitely one of the toughest jobs in the world. And that is no bullshit. I mean, you think about that, man. you got to make a whole room full of strangers laugh. Because guess what? If you suck, they're going to tell you, you suck. You know what I'm trying to say? There's no fucking, they don't give a fuck. You, know, you make them laugh or you don't. All right, what is this, like a 20-minute rant? <laughs> All right, I love each and every one of you. And once again, I'm not fucking Bob Barker. I'm not going to tell you to spade, neuter, or bet. But like I always say this, man, don't fucking puppy shop. Don't do that shit. Don't go online and look for cats and kittens and dogs and puppies. Go adopt one. Go bail one out of fucking jail out of your humane society, man. Because they'll thank you for it, all right? <sighs> I'm almost out of energy, man. All right. I love you guys, man. All right? This is, till then, till the next one, this is comedian Robert Erie. Peace, love, and happiness, brothers and sisters. Uh, and remember, tell somebody a joke. The world needs more laughter, all right? As I slam this phone to my chest, I'll talk to you later. Bye.